Barking and Dagenham's most wanted. Droopy ears, wet nose, looks like a dog. He's suspected of pooing in the park and just walking away. The council here feel that by testing the dog faeces they find on the paths throughout their parks, they'll be able to determine what sort of dog did it, whether it has long or short hair, its eye colour and even its gender. <coughs> Councillor Darren Rodwell is the sheriff in this particular metaphor. And yes, he's trying to clean up the town. We're trying to take a common sense approach to it. So the main thoroughfares, we're not going to be looking under bushes. We're not that, uh, we're, no, you know, we're not the secret police. The idea is, you know, where it's the main thoroughfares, where people are being lazy, you know, yeah, it's, we have people that do pick up the poo and then, then hang it on trees. I've never got that concept of why people would do that. Um, you know, when we put, we've got bins here, we, let, we say to people, please use the bins, it's a free service. So what we're trying to do is say to people, you know what, you've got it all there. If you're responsible, be a responsible owner. Allow us to help you be a responsible owner. And in those irresponsible ones, we can really start uh, cracking down on. There is, of course, one significant problem when it comes to dog efits. I wouldn't know the difference between that Alsatian and another Alsatian and another Alsatian. There, there's about 10 other German Shepherds that look like that. So how can you tell them apart? There are still some scientific and legal hurdles to overcome before dogs can appear on wanted posters. For now, it will have to remain on the conscience of owners to do the right thing. Ignition. Lift off. don't represent women in politics.